The Vienna Hofburg is a complex of multifarious buildings, a collection of building complexes of numerous styles that date back from the 13th to the 19th centuries. Here was the Viennese residence and the court of the Habsburg dynasty, the emperors of the Holy Roman Empire, of the German nation, and later the sovereigns of the Austro-Hungarian monarchy. The Burg, as it is called in Vienna, was the subject of Austrian fate. For 700 years it was gradually developed, but the final grand plan never reached fruition. Almost all the influences and styles of early Gothic to Art Nouveau are represented here. This large complex developed from one residential building to another. It has often been compared to the Habsburg Empire, in which a diversity of nations became united. In the center of the Hofburg is the Schweizerhof, which had been joined in the Baroque era with both the Leopold and the Reichskanzler tract. The official royal residence was established here in 1533 by Ferdinand I, who was first governor and, from 1556, Emperor of Austria. In the silver chamber, there is a remarkable variety of exhibits that depict the magnificent regal life of past centuries. Silver, china and other materials are on display. Drawings of imperial dining culture give a fascinating insight into majestic court ceremonials and ornate table decorations. Habsburg residence possesses many beautiful architectural elements and numerous precious works of art. In various parts of today's Hofburg, there are government buildings, museums and official meeting rooms. The statue of Emperor Joseph II looks majestically up to a battle wagon that is drawn by four horses. The Josefsplatz is surrounded by the National Library and part of the Winter Riding School. Atlas supports the world and saved this section from a large fire that in 1992 destroyed the whole eastern part of the building right up to the Josefsplatz. By way of both heritage and purchase, the Imperial Library grew so fast that Johann Fischer von Erlach's building plans had to be expanded during actual construction. At a height of 30 meters, a huge dome covers what is surely the most beautiful library in the world, decorated with the frescoes of Daniel Gran. 
Each day, the white Lipizzaner stallions are led into the Baroque building of the Spanish Riding School for training and display. The Hofburg extends to the eastern side of the Ringstrasse, a magnificent boulevard that surrounds the first district, the oldest part of Vienna. 18 wings, 19 courts, and over 2,500 rooms, and still unfinished. Prince Eugen won many battles for the imperial throne. Thus, a huge monument that depicts him riding on horseback has pride of place in the large square outside the Hofburg. The impressive rondo of the new Hofburg is only one half of the completely round building that was originally planned. Over the centuries, the Habsburgs have expanded their residence. Here, the Vienna Congress took place. And the Spanish Riding School is famous throughout the world. The eastern part of the gardens, which had been set in the grounds of the Castle Bastion in 1820, was the sole domain of the members of the imperial household until the end of the monarchy. Only then was the Burggarten opened to the people of Vienna, who embraced it with open arms. Popular with the royal household, the great Austrian composer Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart has a monument dedicated to him in the Burggarten. The Hofburg was the residence of the imperial family, the center of the city's legislative power, and of the Austro-Hungarian monarchy's great empire. From this momentous time in history, only the buildings and artifacts remain glorious mementos of an imperial royal capital and city, Vienna.